This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Monday, December 27th, 2021. Let's talk about the news. From Bloomberg, more U.S. liquefied natural gas cargoes head to Europe to ease energy crisis. The number of natural gas-carrying cargo ships on their way to Europe grew dramatically last week, as 15 ships from the U.S. left for European ports, and 11 other ships with undeclared destinations turned in that direction, some of which were rerouted from other destinations mid-journey. A confluence of issues, including reduced gas flow from Russia, which may or may not be connected to ongoing tensions between EU governments and Moscow, Alongside problems with pipes and a few nuclear power plants in France leading to the temporary shutdown of those plants and less-than-expected wind turning German turbines has further inflamed an ongoing winter energy crisis on the continent. That crisis is raising prices. And although there's possibly a geopolitical component to some of the U.S. origin cargo ships headed to European ports, inflated gas prices stoked by that unfilled demand is seemingly more than enough to pull vessels from across the Atlantic toward gas-starved EU shores. From the Associated Press, groups call for protests against Libya's poll cancellation. Hundreds of protesters have taken to the streets across Libya to show their opposition to and anger over the decision to cancel an intended upcoming presidential election. Libya was cast into a civil war beginning in 2011, and the country was split between two forces, one backed by the UN and one backed by a military commander. Turkey's involvement in the conflict in mid-2019 upended things in the UN-backed side's favor, and that led to a ceasefire in late 2020, which in turn led to the creation of a transitional government which would run things until an election scheduled for December 24, 2021. An election that didn't happen because the various and oppositional interests involved in figuring out the details couldn't come to an agreement in time. Libya's election commission has proposed January 24, 2022 as a new election date, but no decisions or agreements between the relevant interests have been formalized yet. And from Reuters, Russian court fines Alphabet's Google and Meta platforms. Last week, a Russian court announced it would fine Google parent company Alphabet and Facebook parent company Meta $98 million and $27.15 million, respectively, for what the court said were repeated failures to take down content the Russian government has declared to be illegal. These are far larger fines than the Russian government has issued for similar offenses in the past. A few orders of magnitude larger, in fact. And the content in question is related to posts that promote drug abuse and other activities considered to be dangerous, information about homemade weapons, and content created by groups the government doesn't like and has designated as terrorists or extremists. The government has also demanded Google restore access to its German-language state-backed RT channels on YouTube, which were taken down in September for broadcasting misinformation related to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.